Hello and welcome to part one of my December 2014 update. Well, it's the final month of the year now. It's almost 2015. Um, there has been a few titles out this month. A couple of season box sets and other bits of stuff. So, not sure at the moment how many videos I'm going to be doing this month. How, how I'm going to split them. Potentially, might be seven, eight or nine, but I'm not sure how I'm going to split them. What I'm trying to do is pull back a little bit on these because this is I think this is going up in February I'm shooting it in December but I think it's going up in February and I really want to get all December updates or January updates you know up in the month so it's a bit more relevant rather than having them up sort of two months after the items have come out I think I should be able to pull back a little bit this month depending on how many videos I do and then might get to a point where they're a bit more up to date. I'm sure nobody wants to see things from two months ago, but we'll try and pull back a little bit. So, bearing that in mind, what I'm to, um, what I'm to doing rather than showing these in separate videos, I um, decided to show these two together. And these are two box sets. Came out within about a week of each other. Um, both were around 25 to 30 quid so weren't too badly priced um, the first one you probably can't see what it is but uh, I'll show you in a moment and it is Pulp Fiction it's the 20th anniversary collector's edition this is similar to the From Dust to Dawn box set that was done a couple of years ago uh, there was two versions actually, there was one that came out and then there was another one released the following year without the metal sign, I think it was a metal sign or something in there something was taken out anyway uh, but yeah, this is Pulp Fiction the, there's only one sort of downside to this box set which I'll show you in a moment you can see things glued itself back on again somehow and that is, if you can see from the back Fingerprints. For some reason, it seems to track fingerprints. Um, I'm sure they'll come off, but not too easily. So yeah, here's the front. Got the title sort of debossed a little bit in gold text. Um, this is mimicking the briefcase as in the film. Hence the that's supposed to be the front, of the briefcase. I presume. Yep. Yeah. With the um, sort of combination and the sort of locks. The only thing seems strange is you have seems to, you think it's that way around because of the title, but it's not. It's this way around for some reason. I suppose when it's up that way, like that, then as we'll see, then it probably makes sense. And then we have the gold inside, which mimics the sort of gold um, sort of, uh, thing that came out when they opened the briefcase in the film. There are quite a few uh, number of things in here, which I'll show you. I might just put the light on. It is sort of light outside, but make it a little bit brighter. Hopefully, it's not too much glare now with the light. So this is the uh, copy of the menu from Jack Rabbit Slims. Next best thing to a time machine. This is, uh, we'll say laminated paper, sort of plasticky. And there we have the menu. So if you want German burger, it's six dollar twenty-five. I've got the light on this uh, reflection on the screen. So I'm not to move that the way a bit. So, yeah. So, here's a copy of the menu. Very nice little thing to have in here. And we have the back there. So, it's sort of, see the whole thing there together. Uh, next up, we have a. Oh, it says sick bag. It's a. Uh, Big Kahuna Burger, and this is the paper bag. I'm not gonna sort of open it up. 
So you just uh, you just put there, but again, a nice little thing to happen there. Then we have the disc. So I can't remember this was actually sealed in plastic or when I had it, but I've opened it anyway. I do have this disc in the box set with the Reservoir Dogs and the Kill Bill films, I think. And I'll have the still book as well. So not too bothered with it. I didn't really buy for the disc. Yeah, so it's, it's the same release. There's nothing extra on here. There's, it's not a remaster or anything. It's just the same release as usual. And the film I haven't seen for a long, long time. We do need to watch that again. Um, inside we have some big clusters, postcards, our cards, yeah, our cards, which I'll open the bag. But these, if, if it's properly sealed, then I tend not to bother opening things, but because this is sort of that plastic clip thing, it's, it's easy to do that. What's on the rest of the camera there? Probably don't see much for about five seconds. I'll get these out if I can without damaging them. The problem is getting these out, I've got to put them back in again. Why do they make it so difficult? These don't want to come out at all. No, these don't want to budge, unfortunately. Don't want to damage them. Yeah. But you can see there on the back. Well, will sort of see the first one anyway, which is that one. So one more go, see if I can get these out. We'll put the camera down again. So I don't want to split this bag. Nor do I want to damage the corner of these cards. I want to keep these in the set. Problem is I've got one corner out, I've got to get the corner out and the first corner goes back in again. Well, you can tell definitely they've done a good job getting these in there. No, I'm going to have to leave those in unfortunately. They're not going to come out. So, I don't want to damage them for the sake of just turning them off. So. Next thing we do have, this is some Pulp Fiction banknotes. I can get this uh, paper off. Again, we'll put the camera down. I'll just sort of get oh, It's not going to come off very easily, but I'll just give you an idea what they look like. And then we have the back. And there's 20 of these. I didn't count them, but it just says on the back of the, the box. And then finally, in this set, we have a keyring. Oh, we've got, seem to have. Uh, some marks on the screen. I'll wait for the camera to focus again. Yeah, the camera seems to lose focus while I put it down. So we've got a key ring here. Uh, it's got Pulp Fiction uh, sort of debossed onto there. And it's got, uh, Z. And then it's got the thing you can clip on. And it's just a uh, thing on the back there. Just, uh, so yeah, that's everything that's in that set. Uh, and also under the card as well, this card thing is gold, so it's a very nice set. Probably not one of the, sort of the best box sets, 
tilting the from dust was almost slightly better. But there's some, some good stuff in this one, so it's definitely worth uh, looking into. I'll put all that back later. I'll just quickly show you the back card actually while I'm here. I showed you briefly before. So yeah, there's the special features which say listed on the back of the disc case. And then there's everything sort of laid out there. So yeah. It's a very nice set. So the next set we have, which I was going to say I was going to do a separate video, but I want to sort of cut down the videos this month and make sense of these two together. I'll show you this one now, and this is Sin City. This is a film I have the I think US or Canadian silver calf. I also have the UK silver of it, and I think I've probably even got a UK MRA release of it. So I've got a few copies of it, and this is the Ultimate Killer Edition. Uh, this lid actually comes off completely rather than, rather than like the um, perfect one which is hinged over. Um, show you the, the back card thing here. We get two things in here, uh, well, two films. We get Sin City and Sin City 2. Uh, I've got Sin City 2 because I've got the uh, still book of that which I'll be showing in the end of the video. So I've got two copies of this film now. I know some people probably will be selling their discs off in this to get some money back off this box set but I'm, I'm going to leave it all in there because it's, it's a box set so I don't really want to take bits out of it I probably won't be opening a lot of this stuff in here as well because a lot of it's sealed and I'm going to leave it sealed but <clears throat> I'll show you what I can so yeah here's the there's Sin City and there's Sin City too so this is what one thing I'm going to leave sealed. It is um, <clears throat> Sin City Magnus set. Again, probably people will be opening these and sticking them on the fridge and stuff. I want to leave this in, as it is because it's, it's all, all uh, part of the set. And there's no way to open it without cutting the plastic. And this is the pure. Sure, this is a magnet set you can buy separately anyway from. Uh, Dark Horse Deluxe. So I've got some very nice uh, magnets on there. Need to watch the first instant again. Uh, when I watched it, I watched the. I think it's, was it directed version or was it a version where it's got all the stories as separate sort of short films? So I want to watch the, sort of the whole thing properly. Not sure any magnets are on here. Uh, I think there's this is one lot, and then this is a separate one on the back. But yeah, very nice. Uh, next up, we have the Basin City sign. I, I will open this because it's, it's got some paper frames in the plastic bag. This is metal. It's quite thin metal, but this is metal. So obviously Basin City or Sensity, as you can see there, 700 feet, uh, highway, uh, Interstate 287. It's got some, not actual bullet holes, but sort of the effect of bullet holes in there. And then we have uh, little holes in there if you want to still stick that on your door, stick that somewhere. It's just uh, silver the back, so that's quite nice as well. Bad thing similar in the um, under the door box set. Uh, Next up, again, I'm trying to get these out easy enough. We have some posters. Probably won't. Uh, I'll see, see, see if I can open these up. Depends how big they are. That's not too bad. Again, I'll leave. I'm not going to put these. I'm not going to put these up because I've got a way to put them. I won't leave them in here. I'm not too big fan of putting posters up when they've got creases in. Like this. So yeah, that's the first film. And then we have the second one here. Don't think there's gonna be a third one of these films. 
that because this uh, number two didn't do it as well in the cinema. So you've probably seen these pic uh, posters before anyway. So yeah, that's very nice. They're the big posts as well, so if you put them up, and it should will make an impact on the wall. Uh, next up, we have some Sin City playing cards, which again I'm not going to open these as well, like I said, because these are all sealed and leave them as they are. I'm not going to use them as cards. I've got enough playing cards floating about, which I don't ever use anyway. But there's the imagery on there, different characters. So, and then we have the two films in here. So we have Sin City 2, first show, Dame to Kill for. This is Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray. Now the strange thing about this, I didn't much notice, it's only when I saw Chris Blue 007's video, he mentioned it, uh, that the Steelbook has got one disc with the uh, 2D and 3D on the one disc, and this has got them on two discs, so with that, Means it's got better, better picture quality because they put them onto two discs or what I don't know. Or why they've split onto two discs. But yeah. Similar artwork on both discs there. So, yeah. Uh, which one's to say? Yeah, that's, that's the 3D disc and that's just the 2D disc there. So. And then we have the, the back of the case there. It's a nice red case as well. They are not for sale separately, so obviously put people off going to CX. Because they can't scan the they can't scan the thing in there, CX, there's no barcode. And then we have the um, first film as well. When I ordered this originally I did think it was the uh, just the first film in here. Didn't think they were going to put both in there. Still would have bought the sale book anyway. But uh, it's nice to find out it had both in, sort of a bit further down the line. This is two disc well, the theatrical and the recut, which is the version I watched. I say it was just the individual uh, stories as separate films. It's a bit disjointed because you had credits for each one, so I'd, I'd say I do want to watch this properly. Uh, I might just watch it again before I watch uh, the second one because I haven't seen the second one yet so we've got the theatrical version there and the recut and extended version there <clears throat> so that's why I watched the um, recut one because it was a longer version of the film so I wanted to see what's, you know, all the extra stuff in there I didn't know it was sort of split the way it was when I watched it so yeah so that's that's it so it's, out of the two of these, I'd say this one slightly edges it in terms of value because I don't think this costs a lot more. But you've got two films in there and you've got the sign and other things in there, so looks good. Um, these will go next to my uh, From the Storm uh, box set, so they'll so look good together on the shelf or separate shelves, really, because I can't get all these onto one shelf. So those those sets, I think they should still be available. Don't think they're going to sell out. So, but, uh, if you're interested in the films, then I definitely recommend picking them up. So yeah, that's that's everything for part one. So I'll say um, I've got probably six more videos to do this month. Again, so depending how I split the videos, I have got some um, steel books. So probably will be two might be three possibly uh, or two and a half even sub videos um, so yeah one thing I might be doing as well because I've got um, Adobe Premiere Pro now some video uh, video editing software so I'm looking probably to do something with that with my videos not sure what yet um, I think one thing I will do is I said in the past, if I've recorded a video and then something's happened and I've had to stop the video, I've, I've redone the whole thing, which sort of 10 minutes into a video, it's spending then with that 10 minutes again doing that uh, bit. So I may use that to uh, edit some video. So if I have to stop the video, I'll carry on and I'll edit the two together. I 
I was going to do that before, but Windows Movie Maker isn't particularly brilliant, and I didn't want to faff around with that, but um, it's easy with Adobe Premiere Pro, because there's a lot you can do with it. I might also look at doing an intro, but again, just need to work out how to do one, or how what I'm going to do for that, so that probably will be a little while for that to come, but say you may find in future that I do sort of edit the videos a bit. I'm not going to sort of edit bits out, but this is where I need to join two bits together for some reason. But that isn't too common really for me to do that. But so I've got the option now. So yeah. So as usual, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, thanks for watching.